Blizzard is back in the building for Warcraft 3, but we don't fully understand why. Why now? And why aren't they talking to us? We've all tried to reach out, but none of us have heard from them. And yet, it doesn't seem that our feedback is entirely falling on deaf ears. Weird. We have been having the PTR news since June 2022, about a month ago and a bit. And they're doing various things, like giving us new... Uh, a new PTR uh, where we can test things and then they broke the editor and then we said that they broke the editor and then they kind of made that better and then someone submitted a bug report on their forum with 26 bugs and they got banned from the forum first the post was removed and then when he asked why did you remove my post he got banned someone that's trying to help to make the game better is getting banned that's how Blizzard is treating their Warcraft 3 fans right now but don't worry, Warcraft 3 is not dead. I played a back to Warcraft 2 Weekly Cup today and we went over 5,000 viewers live on the stream. You should definitely check it out. Anyway, what Blizzard is doing is one thing and what we're doing is another. So, here's the question. How is Blizzard actually perceiving feedback? Are they reading our posts? Are they watching our videos? Is someone compiling feedback for the backend developers? I don't really know what's going on, but there are a few prime examples of changes that they made, such as the new zoom out function that's coming to Warcraft 3. Now, we already had this, but it's via custom games. Now, Blizzard is going to give you the option to zoom out, but they did so kind of in a bungled, weird and bad way. You couldn't scale it very properly. There were several intervals and it wasn't a fluid thing like with W3 Champions. With W3 Champions, you can zoom out per pixel. Custom games offer the same thing, but Blizzard had like this five-step interval mouse wheel thing and we're like where are the options in the menu we're gonna watch a video of witty who's probably just as surprised as i am that suddenly they are listening to us they added menu settings to the zoom let's check it out Yes, good news indeed. Blizzard are listening. So we have some confirmation that some changes have been made on the PTR, which I'm on at the moment. This is 19089. And if you have a look here, 1.33. Okay, so this is the PTR. 19089. So this is the PTR. If you go to the options on the gameplay, we have new features, the camera settings. So the re this is what we asked for. And remember they had this, uh, they, sh they showed this new screenshot or it was like data mined where you could do the camera thing. Oh yeah, it was on the PTR already. You could do the camera zoom out, but they didn't say which one is near and far. You would start zoomed out on the left side and you would be zoomed in on the right side. Or I don't know exactly which way around it was, but anyway, that's the confusing part. It doesn't matter which way they do it, the order, as long as they say which one is which. So now they are saying it near and far. Request for camera settings has actually been implemented. So it's curious because I didn't think we'd get it, but- Well, we they even show the points. 1650 is how it used to be. They even show the points. It's still intervals, which is awkward and still worse than W3 champions and custom games offer it with but still, they show the pixels of points. 1650 is the standard zoom level from way back when. We have it. Now, I know we're cheering on a turd that has put on a little ribbon. We're like, oh, aren't you pretty and smell so nice? But actually, there is, for the first time, there's actually a small hope or fear that they're going to make a good patch. And that's a scary thought. Because then, who are we going to flame all the time for their mistakes? It might not be exactly how you want it, but we got it. So, you can either enable it or disable it. So, pretty straightforward. If you have it unenabled, then you'll just be on the default of 1900, I assume. Uh, 1650, sorry. I got so used to 1900 now. It feels yeah. weird looking at I use 1920 as well. I could live with 1900 if I were to go play on Battle.net. At 1650 so you can see these numbers that's where you're really zoomed in the depth of field and then this is the default game camera 1650 with the isometric look i wonder how this one's going to work out max camera distance before you start zooming in 
So it goes up to 1,900, 2,400, 2,700, and 3,000. So those are pretty large jumps. Yeah. There's no large. specific number that you can type in here, nor slide towards. It's all just a big fixed number. You can set your max camera distance, but notice that the max camera distance can only go as low as your current default camera distance. So that when the game sense. starts, you're at 1,900, and your max camera distance can only be 1,900. You can zoom in. I do, I do think that's a weird setting that nobody asked for. We just want very perfect control of filling in a number. I don't think anyone needed, like, a, the, like liter literally nobody asked for this. Like, can we have it so that we have customizability of zoom in and zoom out, but we can hard cap our own zoom? Closer than that. I think it's useful. I actually really like that. Oh, how would you use it, Chad? How would you use it? You think it's useful? Uh, tell me how you would use it. But this is as far as you can zoom out. If you want to get past that, though, you can have it default on 1900. Not miss the zoom point you're used to, but there's only like four intervals. So 1650 is the old classic way. I can't imagine you would ever want to go lower as your default. Like, what are you playing? Warcraft 3, the FPS? So your options really are 1650, 1900, 22, 24, something like that, 24, 3K. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure the exact steps. And then like 1900 is where I play. And then if you want to play from the stratosphere, you go like 2.7 or 3K. And there's only like two intervals to play with. So you want to like throttle one of the levels. The, the one you want to cap like one away i guess you know i guess it's useful let's say you want to play on 1900 and you want to zoom out one level but no more when you hit your mouse wheel just see a bit more but not further so now you can spam roll your wheel yeah okay i can, can, can kind of see how that would maybe do something 100 and then as the game's progressing you may feel like oh i want to yeah. look all the way out okay well you can if you do this so let's do that for example and go into a game just to show it off so in single player oh yeah there's new icons as well uh by the way guys definitely check out the link to witty's youtube channel and his video definitely give a sub and a like he makes a lot of nice uh content uh we're actually gonna play together this sunday i'm gonna try out some uh, custom game maybe some forum four we'll see what's good what's fun Maybe you can teach me Legion TD. That one seems pretty popular. Or, you know, whatever one is fun. I'll go over those shortly, but you'll see one of them when we go into this custom game. So there's a few little extras that we got here. So Canned bread. Two, yes. Bay. Let's show off Orc, for example, because if you remember, I showed that screenshot of the Orc. See the icon there at the bottom, at the left-hand side? Where? That's new. That's a what? classic uh, HD+. Plus. HD Plus Classic Plus. No, we Plus. don't see that. Can we call it Classic Plus? You're the only thing it. that I have an issue with Classic Plus being the title is because it's in reference to that StarCraft 2 video where the models are um, taken from Warcraft 3 and improved HD. in the sense that they're higher detail, but the animations aren't exactly the same. They are very true to the original, but they're not the original. So for me, I don't want Classic Plus to be referred to a StarCraft 2 port back into Warcraft 3. I want Classic Plus to be the the Warcraft 3 classic, yeah. but with resolution. Yeah. I don't want the models looking bigger or smaller yeah, or extra limbs. I just want higher fidelity <laughs> on the resolution of the skin textures that One I more put limb. on those models. That's all I want. Hey, that's so what I want too. Let's say Classic Plus, but that's what I mean when I say Classic Plus. Okay. Got that over with. So, let's see. Okay. If we the, go... the font is still weird. Let's also see the menu. Is it now the orc menu? First things first, zoom out. Look, there it is. There it is. There it is. And then... There's one better thing about this zoom compared to the one we're used to from custom game. It's gradual you see it pan out and that looks nice compared to the uh when you just fill in the number it's very jumpy and jerky and back in we go so it's, st it's still weird that zoom in couples a lower perspective i want to zoom in but still see the the head of the peon from top not like 
I don't want the bottom zoom in to also do this, right? I just want to go like this. I want to be like that, not like go under it. And that's what it's oh, doing here. There's a button that you can press now, F5. It takes you to the default zoom that you set. So that's 1900 for me. That This is, this is straight up what surprises me the most. W3 Champions has chosen to use the F5 hotkey to reset to the zoom that you keyed in with text. Uh, minus sign zoom space 1920. That's my zoom level. I go into a game, I zoom in, zoom out. I press F5, it goes back there. That's amazing functionality. That's the one I never thought Blizzard would copy, and now they did. That's insane to me. That's actually insane. I wonder how it's going to like bug out when you've got both. There is actually a fear that it will mess with the way the W3 Champions zoom works in W3 Champions maps when F5 becomes the new default way to reset to the standard zoom. That's a bit scary. Like, what if it messes with that? What if we can't get our preferred zoom levels anymore, even in W3 Champions maps? But the fact that they took a good functionality that works really well and copied it absolutely shows someone is sleuthing through all the content we're putting out there with love and with a bit of sarcasm. They deserved it for how they release Reforged, but with love because we love the game. Somehow they're reading it and they're not being like uh, a, an oversensitive, uh, we are the, the star devs and you're our paltry players. They're reading it and they're like, yeah, okay, we can do that too. That's a good idea, we're gonna do that. And what's more, we're gonna add a max level cap for people that like it, even though nobody asked for it. That shows like two types of mentalities that I really didn't expect to see from Blizz anymore. Hang on a second. There you go. That's 1650. If I, I understand why they're not talking to us and why uh, they are not uh, replying to every video and feedback. That takes a lot of time and it takes community managers, which I'm 99.99% .99 sure they don't have. Devs would be wasting time engaging in community feedback. They've got a job to finish and they're damn well gonna do it. I don't know the exact scope of the job, but they're gonna do it. Press F5, back to 1900. 2100, 2450, 2700, I think. Well, along those lines, I forgot all the numbers, but F5 will take you back. So F5 is essentially the equivalent of pressing dash Z. I would like that- I think Witty doesn't know that F5 was already working that way on W3C be a hotkey to change f5 because i use let's go's warcraft toolkit which is a tool used to change the inventory hotkeys so for your hero you have an inventory and in your inventory you'll have things like potion of invincibility you'll have a potion of healing you have healing salve you'll have scroller town portal and f5 I always put my town portal on this one because this is f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 ah. so if i Double click F5, I can't do it because I haven't got my Let's Go's Warcraft tool. Yeah, they should at least allow us to rebind the F5 hotkey to something else if we choose. In this manner, we can avoid the uh, overlap with the W3C F5 and with his uh, F5 problem for the inventory. In general, we should be able to rebind things. And that brings up another point. The way that you can rebind your custom keys is still incredibly archaic. It's still using the TXT file in your my documents slash Warcraft folder. And there should be a better way for that, but that needs a UI. And I'm not sure if that was ever built. When I visited Blizzard offices in, I think, 2018 and, wait, 20, yeah, 20, 2018 and 2019, when I visited Blizzard offices during the, age, during the uh, BlizzCon, I never saw a UI for a new custom key layout. I think that was low priority for them and therefore no previous work was done on it. Therefore, they would have to start fresh now. That's my assumption. And that makes it not very likely. Okay, on. So ideally, there'd be a hotkey to set that to anything you want, or even have the option to type in a command, whichever is more convenient. Yeah, I know that W3 Champions has a hotkey rebinding system, and everyone should be using W3 Champions, but not everyone is using W3 Champions. And I understand there's some, you know, if you're like a cheating troll, then you would not like to use it. So, <laughs> and then of course, the level is lower on Bnet. For others, F5 will be great. Those that have learned to use F1, F2, F3 for their heroes, and then the one, two, three, four, five for their units, etc. 
Unfortunately, when I learned Warcraft 3, I never knew that you pressed F1 or F2 or F3 oh. for your heroes. I always hotkeyed them to 1, 2, 3, and then my units followed in 4, 5, 6. What? He's a god. So He's my some building... kind of octopus tentacle man. Like, I, in all of the RTSs I play, I can't use more than, like, three control groups for units. Maybe four if I'm feeling frisky. Either I put it on four or six. Usually I put my extra army on six or something. Like six, I don't know why I skip five. Five is like holy, don't judge five. In all of the games, five must be my altar and in Age of Empires, it has to be my town setting. So my new units go to six. So when I used to play against human, I would be like one, all the heroes, grunts, raiders, then uh, two, wyverns, uh, headhunters, three is all my casters, and then six would be bat riders. Like, oh my god, where, where did you come from six? But that's how I could make sense of it. But he uses six control groups for heroes and units? That's insane. These are all seven, eight, nine, what zero, which is probably why my macros suck so much. Because that's for me true. to press the buildings, I have to go all the way to the end of the keyboard. <laughs> and uh, I focus so much on micro as a consequence. So it is what it is. F5 is the key, though, so at least we have that for you guys. I won't be using it so much myself, but it is there, and you can clearly see it's working. And you can see the game menu's working. Hey. We're playing as Orc. We have an Orc menu, as it should be, so that's fantastic, isn't it? And if you notice, we can hear the music, which is also fixed. Hey. Yeah, that's some Orc music right there. The didgeridoo orc music that we all know and love. This is like the least orc music track I think I've ever heard. So the time that I no, put the music on, it's literally playing the most ambient... Th this sounds a bit like, yeah, chill orc camp vibes. Like, when Mongols, when they're like celebrating their peace pipe or something. Rubbish possible. I know you've got better orc music than that. But I tested this anyway with Night Elf. And the menu works anyway, probably as nice. Night Elf. The music moves from track to track. So I waited for one of the songs to finish and then the next song kicks in and it's still Night Elf. There we go. Now that's what I would call Orc music. That's Orc music. Dun, 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 dun. He's loving it. I'm loving that's it better. too. So, okay. So we got the... Oh yeah, another thing actually. Thinking about it. Insert, delete. Insert, delete. It works. Both. Zoom out. Both insert, work. Insert, delete. Zoom in. We can go insert, left and delete. right. And insert, delete whilst just zooming in and out. If you're a madman. Yo, it's a rave. It's an so, orc dance rave. Let's go. Brilliant. So Before you can only they go are left. addressing the issues that they basically broke. Which is impressive. Why do the resources font look different? Yeah, that's something that we brought up in last video already. You know, uh, Witty pointed that out and we, we saw that, we watched that. It's like there's more spacing between each. And usually the font looks like this when they enable Cyrillic slash Chinese, uh, Chinese simplified slash Hangul Korean. When they enable those fonts, that's how it looks like. Every time I played in Asia or so this is how the font would look like and it's a small thing but it legit just looks worse and there's like side by side comparisons in the previous video but like yeah it just looks a bit weird if for blizzard at <laughs> this day and age i'm impressed well done impressive work indeed boys <laughs> we're like two sons to a dad that said he's going away for a pack of cigarettes and he didn't come back for 27 years and now we both have four children and dad came back. He's like, found my cigarettes. And we're like, dad, let's fry an egg again and watch Power Rangers on the couch. I I'm impressed. Well done. Maybe you'll get an extra shelf in the janitor's office as a consequence. Um, so we got fixed insert delete, fixed in-game music, fixed game menu, resembling the correct race. And... A subjective opinion from mine is that the actual menu and everything is smoother. So when you're going back and forth, it's this fast. feels smoother. It's snappy. Like the web UI has been improved. Wow. I can't tell if that's because I'm offline though, and no. being online might have a negative no, no, impact. No, 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 no. But it seems quicker. It was always laggy, even when you were offline. I'd still prefer it to be like instantaneous, because you know, 
I want to get to the oh, point. It's really. a bit of charm. Come on, wait a um, Don't go too far. One other thing that you may be concerned about, by the way, if you're looking at the point of view from the zoom, thinking, ah, oh, I still have that issue where if I accidentally zoom out or hit the middle mouse button backwards, it's not so much of a problem when you go forwards because you can always pull it back to get maxed out backwards yeah. to the default that you want it to be. Um, you can set this to 1900 as well. It does mean that you won't be able to go any further back, but it does also mean that if you pull that middle mouse back, it's going to be 1900 no matter what. Yeah. So you won't end but up no sort minimum of like zoom. pulling out and then going back in and then pulling out and going back in. So I do. I am surprised. I do think it's funny because the uh, president of Blizzard, uh, Mike Ibarra, he was like, you'll hear from the team in June. And I think many of us assumed that's going to be a new patch or news or they're going to talk to us. And then they came with the PTR. And I think mentally, I just assumed it's going to be like a two week period and then it goes live. And it is much slower. Like it looks like they're iterating for weeks and months before they're going to release the patch. And then one big grand reveal. And my questions are, will they wait for weeks and months? Like are we still weeks or months out? The second part is I'm happy that they are doing more good stuff before releasing it in a broken state. That's exactly what we didn't want. So definitely don't rush it. And then the final question is, if they do accumulate everything into a grand reveal of sorts, will they talk about it to people that aren't already following Warcraft? Will they be like, look what I did. I know that you just came back from vacation and I was supposed to keep the house clean and now there's dishes everywhere and like the bed isn't made and I haven't taken out the trash and the kitten litter had poop in it for two weeks and the kitten is now going everywhere else. But look, look, I just hand washed a cup. Look what I just did. Aren't you proud of me? I have been so productive. The thing is, are they going to point at this and say, hey, Overwatch players, hey, GameSpot, hey, creators that cover gaming news, uh, but not usually Warcraft, but they'll do it if there's news. We have fixed Warcraft. And then what? That's what I'm wondering about. What's, what's the master plan? But let, let's check the rest. It is good. And it also works in Reforged. I can't be bothered to show you the Reforged equivalent, but it is he working it in Reforged. All of these things that I just addressed. We're caring about classic here. Yeah. And speaking of which, if we take a look at the... I'll show you. I'll show you. Once this goes live or once I can be bothered to boot up the PTR, I'll show you how zooming out looks in Reforged. Collection. You may notice something. The classic versus portraits. All right. There so they I are. have this one immediately turned on. So otherwise I'm you turned on by that peon too. Look at or that. Or you, of course, go for the classic version. Classic class. So they've actually brought us the reign of chaos and the frozen throne portraits or icons for winning so 25 250 500 and now the question is will they accredit our linked accounts from roc and tft will they accredit it like they promised i want those wins in my profile and I want those portraits without having to work for it because guess what I already did 17 years ago 1500 that's reign of chaos so these are the reign of chaos portraits and then when you get over to here this is so you think the they frozen won't? throne so 25 <laughs> 150 350 750 1500 so you get one extra icon with the frozen throne so it's four for each race, including random as well, in so Reign of Chaos, Gina. and five for each race with the Frozen Throne. This looks the legit. only thing missing are the tournament icons. So that's probably a proof that they're not bringing back tournaments. <laughs> Sag, <laughs> pop a beer, pop a beer bottle for them, guys. And no tournament icons means no automated tournaments. Maybe. We'll get to Look at this Naga. She looks. <laughs> I haven't seen this portrait before. Yo, 
when we were looking at all the portraits, there's some new ones here. The Banshee, the Destroyer, Crypt Lord, Illyria, uh, Maev, Tyrande, Malfurion, the Naga, this creature, and Naga upgraded or something. Maybe this is Queen Ishara. Even Illidan. Like, when, when I went through the portraits before, uh, now, oh, this is the Naga Siren. Right, 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 right. Look, when I say, is this Sylvanas or Illyria? It's probably Sylvanas. This is a Dryad? No way, really? These portraits are new to me. As well, after they've got ladder sorted, custom campaign sorted, clan sorted, and then potentially automated ladders again. Uh, this is probably Shadrin, the, 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 the tanky huntress from the campaign. I know about that tournaments. I'm not sure if they had any implementation to bring that back as a default feature. Because obviously they're trying to bring the things back that they sort of took away from us in the original game. The promises that they broke. But I'm not sure if automated tournaments were ever a thing that they were going to guarantee bringing back. You guys may know better than I do. You probably I don't do, think so. Because I don't know. I think so, they, they say something non-committal, like we'll look into it. But like obviously there's no market for that anymore. Let's take a look at the next section here. Be so, funny if they brought it back. Some. And charge the Hearthstone Arena type of admission fee. The icons in their color, all their glory. So we've seen those ones, but we've yet to see these ah, ones. Ah, there we go, there we go. That's the Sylvanas. And they do look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, really nice. What do you guys think? Any opinions? Nine out of ten. I really like them. I can't even find ones that I don't like. Now I see it's I'm a I'm struggling. Ad. Jaina, her eyes are sort of shifting off to the right. Gives her an era of... Um, Mystery. A, a sort of mystique. Yep. Maev has that kind of intensity to her. Oh, Illidan yeah. has this cool charm. He's got this kind of strange red stroke, which is like outside of his face, the border of it. Oh, that's probably uh, the reflection of some kind of uh, burning chaos. It's quite suitable. Maybe even the Blades of Azanoth have some luminescence. I don't know. Spirit Walkers look like they need a dental um, hygienist. But otherwise... Excuse me? I think <laughs> He's missing all his teeth. <laughs> I think it's really... Yeah, it's crisp, isn't it? It's too late it's for the hygienist. It's the originals, but just like someone painted over them and just enhanced them without actually losing the quality that the originals brought us so really really nice stuff i have this as well this is uh bogdanov is responsible for letting me know about ah, this so thank Bogdan. you Bogdanov. Uh, this is on his warcraft free united discord and you can sort of see the pictures more zoomed in from nice. this aspect and uh yeah really really nice the very, detail just very nice I mean, this one, I've got to come back to in a second. He's actually got a cheeky grin, which I like. I always like it if they got a cheeky grin. But um, especially this guy. Oh, what a chad. And he's got a cheeky grin as well. So he was like another one that I would go for. If they've got a cheeky grin, I'm going to pick them, basically. But uh, yeah, the Crypt Lord. Are these eyeballs? Yeah, what I is want that? to know. Put in the comments section below. He probably has yes four eyes. or no. Two on the left, two on the right. And then eyeballs. Because <laughs> I don't think they should be. I think his eyeballs are kind of like part of his face. And this is like plate armor. I mean, spiders... And this is like almost... I wouldn't be surprised. Spiders always have loads of eyes. I bet he's got like another 16 eyes under here. And he just cut two little holes in his carapace uh, to see out of it with these two eyes. And then two eyes on the other side. And the other 12 are studying his own brain because he's so smart. A gem decoration. But it's the same color as his eyes because he has green eyes. Uh. You'll see in a moment when we get into this. So coming back to here, this is an old post from Blizzard. If you scroll down to Anubarak, open this in a new tab. Oh, yeah. And here, if we scroll in... You've got those two green gems, Fair essentially enough. the eyes in quotation marks, and his his mouth is here, but you can't see his eyes very clearly. I will find that for you in a second if Enhance. I do this. I'll pull that up in a moment. But you can clearly see here, 
that's kind of his face this is his reforged icon you can already see like how little grit his face has so little grit contrast and lining do you know what i mean like whether you draw something surrealistic cartoonish or whether it's real and you saw it in real life neither one would look like this structure and then this is like armor adorned on it so if those are eyes but i'm ranting on reforged graphics art style again they're eyes that are sort of inside of his armor or the armors like had holes cut in it so his eyes that are over here can see so he's got uh, yeah yeah i think that's what it is be out but it looks like the eyes are on the armor so i am really going oh, down a rabbit hole you know you know what else creatures do in you know in the animal kingdom <laughs> putting fake eyes on top of your carapace like frogs do that and some other creatures i think some snakes do it it's to let enemy predators know that you're watching them even when you're not it's a little extra fake vigilance that you're faking with your uh, with your colors and then maybe you won't get eaten by something bigger than you hole on this one and it has absolutely perplexed me but if we take for example i'm not sure but i think i don't think a nubarak really exists come on don't ruin it lord so he I'm absolutely dead. is real heroes crypt lord now whack him up to about eight and turn off the lighting oh he's like a map editor undead. pro I've Find never used the map editor Lord. in Warcraft 3. And this is the classic version. What so a beauty. You can sort of look in here a little bit. And hey. look at that. Those, are they eyeballs? Because if you look underneath here... I'm getting red ears. You've got to get just right to see his eyeballs. Yeah, it's show hard. it all. Those right there, if he could stand still for a second, that'd be great. You see the green is his eyes over here. And he's got yeah. like two of them that I can see there. And it's underneath this plate armor. Oh, yeah. How would you so have eyes there? That, for me, are his eyeballs. And this is not. So that he's got like the tusk. It. He's got the mouth. That proves it. It's an anti predator measure of fake vigilance. Off, he's got the eyeballs. But you guys decide, because I can't make it. I can't make it up. What's this? I'm getting a link to a World of Warcraft thing here now. What's this? Yeah, look. It's like the two sort of gems adorned is but the eyes are really here different color or so uh, i don't think they're eyeballs i don't think they're eyeballs even though technically this thing talks about um anubarax many eyes and teeth have been modeled in meticulous detail and well, there, technically, there is more detail on that section there but i digress we have the icons which we can see here. These are the OG original icons for Reign of Chaos. So you can they, see they look 25, so 250, 500, and 1500 wins. I think Tychondrius looks the best. Imagine having Tychondrius portrait. Imagine that. Insane. For each race, including random. Four of each. And then there's the Frozen Throne. So you can see them there as well with the icon. Uh, Felguard, Infernal, Doomguard. These all look insane. Archimon, tournament wins. Illidan was sick too. Ones being the tournament ones here. So I did a little picture to sort of show it a bit more clearly. So here you can see all of the icons, Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne. And you always start off as an Orc peon. So yeah, it's time to start collecting those icons again. But I guess you can only do that on Battle.net. You won't be able to do that on War 3 Champions. Although unless, War 3 Champions have their own. Unless, and this would be really sick. I, I would actually not expect it. There are some games that track your stats progress in custom games. Blizzard could do it. They could track your custom game stat progress. Then you'll be working towards both your W3 Champions icons and your Blizzard icons. You would even get accredited for tower defense games or something, for whatever race it, it mentally assigns to you. Would that be so bad? I don't think. Brain icons and- This would lead to people cheating, abusable. Let them cheat and get the icons. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I guess it devalues the whole thing. 
you can collect icons that way. So I don't think this is really going to have any impact on War 3. Well, Shan the abuse provides them something, but, like, yeah, people that... It's more like... I don't even think you care. Like, I don't think any of us would care that there's some people out there that abused it abused it to get 1500 wins in one day via a script i don't think that really w bothers us it's that and it's not even that their 1500 win icon devalues your rifleman i think the most annoying thing as a gamer who likes to make my processes ever more efficient when i play games the most annoying thing is i know i'm being inefficient when i'm spending 27 minutes playing against someone playing my heart out and i get one win when I should be playing game after game against AI and win in one second with who's your daddy or whatever. It's the inefficiency that would bother me. So yeah, uh, that abuse would bother me in some way too. Champions, to be honest, but uh, at least we have them. At least we have them. So the only thing missing are the tournament icons, the Fail Guard, the Infernal and the Doom Guard and the Pit Lord and the Archimond. Archimond. Those we do not have. But otherwise, it's good. We're getting more icons. Blizzard are basically addressing issues that we've been posting on the forums. On top of giving us new features such as the Zoom, which they never had in the original base game. And they adapted that Zoom to comments that we made in videos and posts on the forums. Yep. So they're either watching these videos or paying attention at least to the forums. So it's good to see that they're taking on board our feedback and actually making some improvements. So the patch still wasn't even out yet. There was actually a maintenance for the patch, but that was in the morning, this morning. So I thought the patch was actually going to be sort of forced out. How long ago but is it this? it hasn't been forced out yet. We still this have a separation between the actual 1.33 PTR and the 1.32 Warcraft 3. So really good news and uh see how we go but i think they've addressed a lot of the things that i was concerned about i know there's plenty more for them to be concerned about but that's the more technical area where i don't have the expertise in whereas i can look at something and go hey that's not right but there is actually something that's still not right thinking about that the font i checked the font yep. between the ptr and um, get them, witty. The actual current game, get and them. the font is still incorrect. It's a small thing. <laughs> it's perfect. The way he's holding the pen and squeezing his eyes. <laughs> I have checked the font with a fine tooth comb, and I have found that the spacing is still 0 0.2 pixels uh, too great. No, but I agree with him. This is important thing, but it's still Blizzard. If you're listening, sort that font, please. Please. It's still not correct. Yes. I just can't look at the food supply or the lumber anymore in the same way. It just not, breaks my heart. I'm not going to look at all. But, uh, I'm just going to play blind. Do I think that the community is still hating on every patch? No. I think there's been more positivity towards it. There's still the idiots that go, Bring the patch out! We need the patch now! Well, why do you need the patch? It's because they think it's going to have Naga, the new fifth race. <laughs> we need the new patch. It's going to make me my win rates go up. It's going to bring the Naga out. <laughs> you don't even know what you want out of the patch. And you probably got your hopes up or something. Now, Why? You're only going to play it for five minutes and then log off and go play League of Legends. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, basically. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Have a good day. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash witty. I'll smash see you in the that. next one. Take care. Bye-bye. And that's about it.